We've got barbecue back here. You're all invited. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Doing all right, Jared. How are you doing today? Good, sir. I'm still mad at AEP. By the way, and also, listen. You and a lot of people. What day is today? Uh, I, you know, I meant I meant to mention that last episode, and I failed. Uh, so, but but for us, it's, for us, it is still uh, simultaneously Juneteenth and and uh, Father's Day. So, uh, to everyone, all the fathers and all of our African American friends, we we wish you a happy day on what is our day. Although this is not coming out uh, for uh, <laughs> this isn't going to actually come out until Wednesday, but just know. We are thinking of you. <laughs> when are we? Uh, well, that, that's a that's a deep question. Because like you and I talking right now, Nomad, it is it is the 19th for us. Um, but that this won't be released until what, the 22nd. So it's it's all it's all very. We were thinking of them. Yeah. As long as long as long as a certain um, energy company, a lot, um... <laughs> don't. Why would you get me started? Why would you try to get me started, Kyle? Because everyone likes to get you all wild up. AEP sucks. They're they're an illegal monopoly. I'll say it. Yeah. I'll say it. They suck. All right. All right, this is our Ask Sloop cast episode. It's where we answer our questions from our uh, Discord server. So if you want to, want to ask a question and hear it in our next episode, join us in the Discord. Um, be, be active and participate and give you um, additional rights to be able to ask questions in our, in our episodes here. So let's... Let's go ahead and jump right into it here with our first question from Kabuto, who is not in the chat here, but we'll ask anyway. Uh, will college football, will a college football player ever get a private jet NIL deal? I think even that's, if it's uh, leased. Well, I mean, it wouldn't even be leased. It would be one of those like. I, I don't even know what you call those, like a share. Uh, I want to call it a timeshare, like it's a condo, but that's not. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Net jets. Yeah. You know, some sort of deal with net jets that would allow them some sort of access to a private jet. But it's. I don't, I don't even what, what what is the generic term for what net jets does? Jet sharing. <laughs> uh, they can ride with Herbie. That's wheels up. That's a different organization. I assume that they're just. Uh, competitors yeah. will it will it happen i mean at this point at this point why, why not anything can happen <laughs> i mean net jets is huge here in columbus as far as employing yeah. goes but, but, i don't but know here, if they're based here, out of columbus or not but here uh, but i know that they the thing how often would they really use it like are they going to be flying doesn't jets matter. during the season no, no. doesn't yeah. matter it's it's all about the sponsors. The, the sponsorship might legitimately get them a few bucks in their pocket and the ability to use the private jet twice in a year. Like it's whatever, whatever's they're, in the whatever's in the contract. Right. Yeah, they're, they're not. It's not cheap. I don't know if many people really no realize idea. how how expensive it is to even, even do a one day to do a one day trip like an all day like you leave in the morning and you come back late at night how how much that is because you're you're paying you're paying that pilots from yeah. the time that those wheels take off to touching yeah. back at, at the airport they're on the clock there it's yeah it's not cheap. and also it's and also fuel cheap. also fuel <laughs> and yeah and fuel now too yeah yeah all right. Um, how's how's, how's jet fuel doing price wise? I'm guessing not well. I have no not idea. Well. I'm guessing not well. Uh, <laughs> right, Buckeye Esquire says here. Lockheed Mark, Martin NIL deal fully tricked out Apache. 
That's how I want to roll. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, we have another qu- We have a question here from. So, so in our Discord, we have we have a few we have a few of our um, yeah, a uh, few of our patrons. They're who, patrons. Who who like to change their names here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know we we we. We know him as we know. He he now goes by Supreme Soul Invictus. That was an excellent pronunciation. <laughs> he formerly says, known right. as Nomad, <laughs> formerly known as Zeus, formerly known as other nonsense. So he says, "Will the Big Odin. Ten opening? Odin, excuse me, the, Odin. Yes, will the Big Ten opening in 2022 football season in Dublin, Ireland, be a success or flop?" Well, let me let me let me answer that by telling you who's playing in that game, <laughs> and that is Nebraska Northwestern. Yeah, N- did not send our b- best and brightest. Um, well, the well, brightest. I mean, the brightest maybe, <laughs> maybe the brightest. <laughs> um, I think that depends upon what you consider to be a success or a failure. Um, I, I think the idea is that by having that game out there, you want to have a num- a percentage of, especially kids, see that, enjoy it, become fans, maybe become lifelong fans. Maybe they grow up and they have kids and you know what I mean? Like it's, it's a long-term investment sort of thing to try and like <laughs> drop seeds overseas to try and get people to become fans. Um, it's a slow process. So in the like immediateness of it, a uh, total belly flop long-term, uh, probably also a belly flop if we're being honest, but well, here's, we'll see. Here, here's something. I don't know. I'm sh- I'm sure the answer is it, it is. I'm not sure how big of a fan, what the fan base is outside of the United States for college Animal. football. All, almost non-existent. Oh, what about Notre Dame? What about Notre Dame? Almost, they don't care. You think they give a shit okay. that they're called the Fighting Irish? They don't. Yeah. Like, okay. they might they might wear some merchandise because of it, but do you really think they care? They don't. Okay. <laughs> you think the Pope cares? I don't <laughs> think he does. He'd be like, what? What is this nonsense? <laughs> Um, and here's right. the other side of it that's maybe the most yeah. important side of it. It's building brand recognition, f- not for the football program, but for the universities overseas. You know, the United States has a policy, a system, a, I don't even know what the correct word here to use is, but where it is, quite frankly, more financially available. <laughs> Our, our our education, our, our college education is more financially available to foreign students than they are to um, Americans sometimes. Now, that being said, it's insanely hard to get one of those slots. Um, so it's not it's not me like, oh, they're just giving them away. Like, no, it's it's very difficult to get one of those spots. But it's just I I almost think, especially for Northwestern, is this a way to build a brand, build brand recognition outside of the country, not for the school, not for the football programs, but for the schools. Mm -hmm. All right. uh, Next question here. It's a pretty lengthy one from uh, Buckeye Esquire. So he has on here a, a Mary fuck kill college football edition. Okay. Why Mary fu- fuck kill? I thought it was fuck Mary kill. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> if you were completely in charge of college football, who should Ohio State Mary be mm-hmm. in conference with? Who they would fuck, schedule one offs or home and homes with, and kill. Okay. Ohio State never plays them ever. They're removed from the CFB. Okay. Am I, am I allowed to pick from the entirety of college football for this? That's what it looks like here. 
Okay. I want to, I mean, you got to marry Michigan. Like you can't give up that tradition, right? Mm -hmm. Like as much as we hate them, man, but we could kill them though. Wow. It's like tradition versus goals. (laughs) (laughs) It's like a real toxic marriage, isn't it? Like either, either want to, either want to love them or you want to kill them. Oh my God. I don't know how to answer that. I think you have to keep the tradition. I think hating them's too much fun. So you almost have to marry Michigan as much as that sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's, that's I kind, kind of want to fuck kind of Texas. I, I'm going. What's that? I kind of want to fuck Texas. I feel like that would be okay. a fun out of conference, like home and home every year. Wouldn't it? Yeah, that that would be yeah. Um, <laughs> so you like them big? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, um, and then I, I want to kill. I want to kill Bama. And why do I want to kill Bama? Pure jealousy. I'll own that. Pure jealousy. I want. I want them gone. I don't want to think about Alabama anymore. Pure jealousy. Kill Bama. <laughs> They're just laying it all out there. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to be dishonest about it. They are uh, uh, too damn good and I want them to go away. Mm-hmm. So yeah, Mary. Yeah. I would say Michigan, the same reasons with, uh, with what Jared said to fuck. Man, like it's te- Texas is a really good one. I, I'll give it to Jared like that. That's, that's a, that's a really good one, but, but man, like there's, there's a lot of teams I would like Ohio State to play um, every year, like do um, home and homes with, but they're not in conference. Uh, no, no. Clemson can go, um, can go off of the face of the planet. Um, part of me, part of me think is thinking like maybe like, Florida, the two two big fan yeah. bases going at it, um, or me, or me being here in North Carolina. Heck, I want to do. I want to see you. Want, I want to see the Tar Heels. That way, I can see the Buckeyes every other year. That's <laughs> selfish. That's a selfish. That answer. is selfish. That's a selfish answer for me. <laughs> um, By the way, I and even did you, that, did you have one pick there yet? You know what? Just me. I'm, I'm going to be selfish. I'll just say UNC, just so I can see the Buckeyes every other year. I'll, I'll be selfish I don't, here. I don't like that you're planning that long term for not moving back to Ohio, personally. Um, <laughs> um, and then, to, and I, then and by the play, way, I think Cincinnati would be a fun home and home every year, just as like an in-state contender. Um, I think another good home and home every year. Um, Georgia. I think Georgia would be a fun team to play every that single would, year. Mm-hmm, that would be. I, as, then, as, as would um, Oklahoma. As mm-hmm. would maybe Oregon or USC. And um, as far as the kill for me, I mean, Alabama is probably the, the best choice. <laughs> it probably is, but I don't know. I I have a good second answer. I have a good third answer too. Can, there are some there are some programs can, can, I'd can, like to can, can, I'd like to knock can, off the planet. Can can I say Penn State? Okay. All right. Um, I don't know why you throw that much hate towards someone who is not our rival. But uh, <laughs> sure, you can say Penn State. I mean, most of their most of their seasons and records have been struck from the book at this point. Anyway, know, why I not? Know, but, <laughs> I know, but historically, they practically don't exist anymore. Mm-hmm. Right. Who's your Who's your second team that you had? Clemson. Quite frankly, yeah. I think I think any university that was. Uh, that was founded by someone who literally fought on the side of the Confederacy should probably be knocked off the face of the earth. Um, and then Texas A&M, just because they're weird. Like, 
that's just a weird place. That's a really weird university. And I kind of, I'm stuck between <laughs> wanting to watch them do their weird shit that they do at Texas A&M because it's like a train wreck and I can't look away. But at the same they, time, it's a train wreck. They do they do have a, um, a good um, uh, stadium name, though. Uh, we can keep the stadium. It's fine. We can give yeah. it to Baylor uh, or speak, someone. So speak, speaking of Texas A&M. Um, LSU would uh, also Mr. be a fun regular road, r- regular road game. I agree. Mr. 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 Duck asks us if Texas and Texas A&M played, who do you want to lose? I don't care. Well, who do you want to lose? You, you got to choose one, Jared. Uh, probably Texas A&M only because like, I think they're more likely to be vying for a playoff spot than Texas. So just the team <laughs> chaos of it to me says probably Texas A&M should be the team yeah, I, knocked off. Yeah, I, or, I, would, I agree. Wait with, a minute. I, I agree. No, I, I, I think I, Texas, because Texas, Texas A&M is going to lose to Bama and probably a couple other SEC teams this year. So, and the Texas is still in the big 12 for this season, right? Am I, am I, am I correct with that? We have, they have at least one more year in the big 12. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, Hey, you know, maybe maybe we get Texas that loss now because you know those losses are going to come later for Texas A&M. Yeah. Man, yeah. Part of me almost forgot that Texas is going to the SEC. Yeah. <laughs> it, doesn't, um, it still doesn't feel real. No. They're going to get arkansas too. Yeah, I, <laughs> I think so too. Um, yeah, I'd probably, I'd probably go with, I'd probably go with Texas, honestly. I'd probably go with Texas. I mean, part of me like really wants to say AM because they split off first because they're like, hey, hey, I want attention. I'm going to the SEC to get attention because the Big 12 is not going to let me because of Texas and this and that. But well, I mean, the good <laughs> news is if you're Texas AM is that Texas is not going to be able to like pull rank and bully the Big 12 or the SEC the way they did the Big 12. Correct. Yeah. So I'll, I'll go with Texas with my answer. Another question. It still from Mr. floors Duck. me that an institution like that with yeah. their money, their academics, their research wants to be a part of the, wants to be part of the SEC where they, they, they will get almost no partners in that other than like Georgia, Florida and Vanderbilt. I do not know about this Esquire. Have we talked about the demon pig statue the Arkansas coach has in his yard? Oh, uh, we need pictures. Yes, you're gonna have to send us pictures. I'm not aware of this. While you're finding a picture, um, we'll answer another question here uh, from um, from Mr. Duck here. If Brian Hartline picked you up from the airport, so speaking of like planes and from earlier and private jets, Brian Hartline picks you up from the airport. What would you want him to be driving or, or even bar- probably better yet? What do you expect him to be driving to pick you up? Brian Hartline picks up a recruit. Uh, it was Tate. Was it not in a, uh, in a Lamborghini? He didn't. Yeah. Um, quite frankly, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm playing the role of like arrogant recruit, like the take care of me, I'm a recruit. I almost would rather get picked up in like a like a rolls so I can sit in the back. Feel you know, get that get get that non-stretch limo treatment. Mm. By the way, people drive Rolls's now. You're not supposed to drive a Rolls-Royce. Oh, look at me, I drive a Rolls-Royce. No, you're not supposed to drive a Rolls-Royce. You are supposed to be driven in a Rolls-Royce. If you want to drive Get the Lamborghini. Not just any Lamborghini. It's 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 scarlet color. It had to, had to have been course. scarlet color. Of course. <laughs> what other <laughs> option is <laughs> there? I mean, I guess he could have gone orange considering he played for the Browns and the Dolphins. So maybe he could have gone orange, but it's also probably not his, right? Like it's a, it was a loner, I'm sure, right? I don't know. With great, Brian Hartline with does great. not feel like the type of guy that would actually own a Lamborghini. With, Even though yeah, I'm sure he has gray, the money for it. With gray trim on it. 
That's a loner. Yes. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> it, it might be CJ Strouds. He may have he may have borrowed it from CJ. <laughs> yeah. What 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 is this demon pig? What the heck is this? I cannot tell what this is. Hold on. Let me for for forgive oh my the waste. Goodness. <laughs> Hold on. I'm moving. I'm moving this. Hold on. <laughs> Here's the demon is... pig, everybody. Please ignore the wasteland logo. Um th this is this is a demon pig. Um for for hold on, let me do this. For those of you who are uh on YouTube, we we are now showing Oh, okay. I see I see it now. Yeah, it had a hard time telling it from the light, but the hard. daytime picture makes it better. So click click away from that, Jared. Click away from that. And there's one more picture. I, I that, can't. Uh, it won't let me. <laughs> hit escape. Hit escape. <laughs> no, no, I it literally is it, no, I literally can't. It it has me in its grasp now. <laughs> There's it it, it owns my soul. Esquire put. Okay, so this does answer one of my questions. From the original, I couldn't tell if the if the there's two of them. Yeah, <laughs> there's two. Of them. <laughs> well, I couldn't tell if one of the pigs was was in the background or if the other pig was like stand. Because my first thought when I looked at the at the red pig when they lit it up in all red. That the that the second pig was standing on top of the first pig, but not in a way that would that would look in any way sexual because it just wasn't by, lining by the, up that way. By the way, since you mentioned red pig, uh, I wonder if those are color changes. Uh, R.I.P. the uh, red pig in in um uh, that was in um, Ottawa, Ohio. That was a really good um, rib place. Oh, okay. I, I not aware. Um, yeah. The. The, those red LEDs that they're putting on those pigs, and I get it, like it's Arkansas, right? I get it, it's Arkansas. So you like light it up in red, sure, I get it. But does it have to be? Or could it be more subtle? Because this does just look like you're about to sacrifice the pigs. Or the pigs are about to sacrifice you, potentially. This is demonic looking. And I say I this as someone no with idea. red LEDs behind him right now. Maybe, maybe it was a bad picture. Maybe it's a bad camera picture, but I had a hard time telling could be. what I was looking at here. And it wasn't until the second picture I was able to figure out what the heck it was. Again, I have red LEDs behind me right now. They did, this, is, this was not easy to tone out correctly. I'll say that. Getting the red LEDs behind you in a way that A, doesn't make everything look demonic, and B, doesn't completely screw with the camera is not necessarily easy. I'll say that. Uh, red. Yeah, imagine, imagine drunk night boating and, happen, and happening upon this beast. I would assume it was Satan. I mean, like, um, we're turning this boat around. This this looks like a pair of pigs oh. about to be sacrificed in the middle of a pentagram while people walk around with different boar heads on their heads chanting. Yeah. Back to the podcast view. All right. So, uh, ser yes, thank you. Serious eyes wide shut vibes. Yes. That. <laughs> Absolutely that. Okay, so that was right, that was the, the uh, satanic pig section of the show. <laughs> all right, the uh, last Lord of the Flies also an accurate description. All right, last question we have here, um, unrelated to everything that we talked about, <laughs> as is tradition. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to know: Are nighttime talk shows necessary anymore? Are late night talk shows necessary anymore? I, I think we, I don't know if the five day a week nightly talk show works in modern society anymore. I, I, I think that's a fair assessment. Um, I think it's a fair question anyway. Um, 
the the last one to me the last one was conan and now that conan uh ended his 10 year run on tbs i think that's it for me uh, that that's it yeah like, i, I love I, I think i loved letterman yeah, i think it's too much yeah i think it's too much just you just do it saturday or sunday night and you're good i don't i don't really I, and honestly to me i i really don't i don't really don't care about nighttime talk shows i i haven't for a very long time but yeah i i, I don't really see a I don't really see it good being that well perceived um, nowadays. I just, I just think it's too much. I, Hey, hear me out on this one. Do two. <laughs> was Jay Leno two? even funny? No, no, he was not. <laughs> it was, it was seriously just like the lowest hanging just the lowest hanging fruit humor possible. Mm. Leno yeah. was a hack. Um, Letterman. I, I always loved Letterman. Uh, he is in retrospect, a little problematic. Um, I acknowledge that as well. Um, mm. But to me, my favorite is, will and is Conan. Conan's my guy is, is for, for any of that. Um, the problem with a lot of the late night people is they go for the easy shit. Um, uh, to me, to me, everything that is wrong with late night talk show, look no further than like the Monica Lewinsky situation where the easiest thing to do was to make fun of Monica Lewinsky, who was practically a child. You talk about power dynamics gone wrong. And then everyone blamed her and shamed her. And she was turned into a punchline for two years. And that's everything that is wrong with late night stuff. Well, longer than that. Y yeah. You know, she's still in many people. Yeah. To this day. But. Yeah. No, 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 no. But I mean, like, every single night for two years. I mean, every single night for two years. And, you know, if any, she's she's a victim in that situation. Power dynamics were... F she was an intern. He was the most powerful person in the entire fucking world. <laughs> <laughs> but she became the butt of the joke. And to me, that is everything that's wrong with late night because no, they didn't want to make fun of the president because that would be controversial, right? Cause you're going to piss off half the people, but half the people are going to like it, but you don't want to, you don't want to chase away the people. So just make fun of the young girl. And that's what we, I think still see to this day. Do you think she still puts White House intern on her resume? Whew. I'm pretty sure she is independently deployed. Deployed? Employed. Independently employed at this point. So I think she's fine. I don't think she has to worry about resumes. Any other questions we have here? I know it's no, kind of I a light, light questionnaire, but we kind of <laughs> really talked about demonic pigs for a little while <laughs> yes uh yeah i think we're good unless anyone down in the chat has a last second qu oh wait a minute um booms when uh i think in the time in between we record this you want you want to win in the time in between we record this and the time it actually comes out Ohio State will have picked up a big boom, and it may or may not be related to that uh, Lamborghini question from earlier. <laughs> yes. Yes. Ah, succinct all right, cool. questions, 10 points. Yes, that was very succinct. All right. All right, I think that's it, Jared. Let's, I think we'll call that an episode. All right. 
Uh, this week where you're doing Paper Morning, they're a Columbus-based band. Uh, we played them on Monday. We're playing them again here on Wednesday, assuming AEP doesn't cut my power for two days for no reason again. And uh, it, I have to release it on Friday again. Uh, the first one, the morning as in the day, not the morning as in something you do after loss. Just title the episode, Fuck AEP. Technically, that would have had to been the Monday episode. I went into it more on that one. I'd actually love nothing more than to spend 20 minutes talking about everything that's wrong with AEP. I would love nothing more than that. And if you want that content, just check out my Twitter feed. <laughs> they, they Cease and desist, they just turn my power off again. But they do that anyway. Without notice. Yeah. Oh, you 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 don't live in a wealthy suburb. We're AEP. There, I said it. I'll say it again. And the state agency in charge of watching them is in bed with them. I'll say that too. PUC Ohio can S U C K my D I C K. I'll say it there. Now we can call this one. Fuck AEP. <laughs> all right. That's it. Paper morning, everyone. Paper morning. Uh, so with all that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, support your local podcasters. Once again, this is paper morning. <laughs>